All right, Shella One. First and foremost, I want to open up by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the whole you lit. And uh, today's lesson is going to be a uh, lesson dealing with pestilence. And uh, here I have an article from uh, Forbes.com, which this article came out uh, February 2nd, uh, 2024. And it says uh, the headline reads Flesh Eating Infections Rising on the East Coast. Scientists warn. Global warming is making it worse, you see. And what I want to deal with <coughs> is ultimately this, this pestilence, you know, dealing with this flesh-eating infection, right? Now, we understand that the scriptures are spoke are, or said that there would be pestilence in these last days. I want to start off with the book of, um, in the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 42 and uh, verse 9. It says, Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. That's the exact definition of prophecy to say before. Now, before these various different pestilences and, you know, various different signs, and such as the earthquakes in diverse places, famine, so on and so forth, broke out, the Lord told us, all right, they would happen before they happened. Right? And... <laughs> Ultimately, our Lord Yahweh Shai spoke in these things. So ultimately, the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai declared unto us tokens that we should look out for are right, leading up to the end of this very world, man. All right. And among those tokens or signs is pestilence. All right. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, beginning in verse 7. And these are words on the red letters. So these are the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there should be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. So, and we understand what was happening in Matthew 24 chapter. The disciples of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, are, were asking him about the signs of his return. You know, pretty much our Lord, what our Lord is doing is breaking down, all right, what would happen leading up until his return. Now, we just read, all right, the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, he said that there will be pestilences, all right, among the signs that will let us know that ultimately he's near, all right? So also we understand that we're going to see pestilences break forth in these last days before our Lord's return. Verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows, meaning at the end of the day, hey, from this point on, it's going to get worse, right? A second Ezra, this is going to be the book of uh, second Ezra, chapter 8, and uh, verse 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them, and a lot of time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. So the plagues that our Lord Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is sending, whether it be by way of pestilence, you know, whether it be by way of earthquake, you know, floodings, wildfires, various different storms, spirits of vengeance, so on and so forth. All right. This is all. It's like, yeah. The Lord is doing all this because majority of the people have walked in great pride upon the earth, man. And when you go into the word misery, it goes into a time of affliction. When you look up, when you look it up uh, in the Edomon, all right, goes it goes into being afflicted. So the Lord is getting ready to afflict, you know, those who are proud in heart. The Lord is getting ready to afflict those are right, who do wickedly. <laughs> Okay, so on and so forth, because, you know, a lot of our people, man, they're going to get caught up in these things that Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is bringing. But let's uh, go on in the article. Okay, the headlines, the headline read once again, uh, excuse me, the headlines reads once again, flesh eating infections rising on the East Coast. Science is warned. Global warming is making it worse. It says there was an uptick in the number of infections with deadly flesh eating bacteria along the East Coast of the United States last summer. According to new data released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, a rare problem that experts warn could become more common as warming global temperatures help the pathogen help the pathogen thrive and expand its range into new areas. It says, uh, let's see. It says, um, let's see, Salakia, forgive me, bear with me one moment.
Let's jump to a uh, key background. It says there are, are there are around 150 to 200 V vonificus infections reported in the U.S. every year. Most cases, which are considerably greater in number than the severe cases considered in this study, are reported by Gulf Coast estates where waters are warmer. Infections have crept upwards along the East Coast and risen eightfold in recent decades. This is largely on account of warming temperatures making the water more hospitable. V. vonificus comes from the same family of bacteria as a pathogen responsible for cholera. <clears throat> Though rare infections can be life-threatening and are capable of causing necrotizing uh, facets. Let's, let's look that up. Oh, whoop, that's an image, you know, it says infection that results in the death of, of the body soft tissue, necrotizing facetus, also known as flesh eating disease is a bacterial infection that results in the deaths, excuse me, that results in the death of the body parts soft tissue. It is a severe, severe disease of sudden onset that uh, spreads rapidly. Symptoms usually include red or purple skin in the affected area. Severe pain, fever, and vomiting. And you see, once again, hey, here's an example. You know what the flesh uh, eating virus looks like, man. And, and hey, man, this this doesn't look like you know a good judgment from Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, if you ask me, man. All right, this this looks like a terrifying judgment, man. All right, absolutely no one. All right, we want to go through this, but we understand that because people are wicked, that because people are proud. The Lord is going to bring such miseries <clears throat> on those who are deemed fit all right, for the judgment of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai in this manner. Okay. Now moving on, it says uh, it says the medical term for a flesh eating infection. It says the infections kill as many as one in five people, sometimes within just a day or two of them falling sick. Mild infections tend to include symptoms like diarrhea, chills, stomach cramps, and vomiting. With skin infections often leading to blisters, swelling, and tissue de uh, destruction. It says severe cases can lead to bloodstream infection or sep septicemia, which can be fatal if caught quickly. Illnesses can come on rapidly. Excuse me. If caught quickly, illness can come on rapidly. The bacteria can be treated with antibiotics, though some patients may need to have surgery to remove infected tissue or amputate arms or legs. <laughs> It says 80,000. That's how many illnesses are reported in the U.S. each year from infections with Vibrio bacteria. There are a there are around a dozen species in this group known to cause illness. Uh, vibriosis in humans. V. vonificus makes up a very small fraction of these infections, though it is noted for excuse me, though it is noted for its life threatening severity. You see life threatening severity. And we understand that a lot of individuals you know especially there's going to be a lot of uh jakes okay a lot of two-thirds who are going to be consumed by pestilence as well as a sword and the other plagues that yahweh bashmi Ashai is bringing all right but uh that's the end of the article right there i'm gonna leave it right there as long as i can put the link to this in the description box but uh without further ado all right we're gonna get some more scriptures and uh that'll be the lesson <coughs> This is um, Jeremiah chapter 14, beginning in verse 11. It says, Then said the Lord Yahweh unto me, Pray not for this people for their good. And in these times, man, that's talking about two thirds of our people. You see, and also, hey, we're not supposed to, you know, pray for two thirds of our people because, for one, or for fir first and foremost, their judgment is already set, man. Or the two thirds have already been allotted to destruction. And second, you know, also they, they just not going to get right, man. So the only thing left for them is death, man. So we're not supposed to worry about the wicked of our people. Like it was told unto Ezra, uh, be not curious about how the ungodly shall perish and win, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, man. So we worried about the elect and the elect only, right? Verse 12, when they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. So when you're going through all kinds of hell, all kind of affliction, and you try to pray to the Lord, you know, uh, try to uh, 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 get right with the Lord, hey, it's not going to work, man. See, because the time is now to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shmi Ashai. 
See, but the problem with a lot of our people is that they like to procrastinate. And those a lot of our people are going to want to get right when it's too late, man. And at that time, they won't be able to get right. You see? Two-thirds of our people, that is. It says, um, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence, man. So ultimately, the Lord is getting ready to take out a lot of Israelites, okay, by way of pestilence. Let's read that in the NLT, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 12. When they fast, I will pay no attention. When they present their burnt offerings and grain offerings to me, I will not accept them. Instead, I will devour them with war, famine, and disease. And we understand the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, is bringing manifold of diseases in these last days. You got the disease X, the, 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 the CV, right, which has uh, uh, multiple strains. You got this uh, flesh eating uh, 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 virus, man. And not that long ago, I believe you had a um a um uh, uh, uh some some kind of a uh, 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 bird flu or something like that, man. So, hey, man, the Lord, he's he the Lord is working in the earth, man, performing various different judgments and bringing various different prophecies to pass, man. You know, uh, let's grab this in the book of um, Ezekiel chapter fourteen and uh, verse nineteen. It says, starting at verse 19, or if I send a pestilence into that land and pour out my fury upon it in blood to cut off from it, man and beast, though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, said the Lord power, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall deliver but their, excuse me, they shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. So at the end of the day, man, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashmi, Ashai, are you going to send our pestilence and various other judgments upon the earth, man, as judgment. You know, even though the elect are in this world, are going to be in this world, you know, while these various different plagues and judgments are going on, they're going to be kept from the evil. Right. That's why it says, though, Noah, Daniel and Job were in it, which Noah, Daniel and Job represent the elect. It says, as I live, said the Lord power, they shall deliver neither son nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness. So at the end of the day, man, the elect going to be straight, man. And the Lord wants to protect them from all the evils and perilous times they want to fall upon the earth. Let's get this in the book of, um, let's see. I want to say 2 Timothy 3. Yep, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, straight to the point. It says, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Okay? I was going to that word perilous. It says, Hard to do, to take, to approach, hard to bear, troublesome. See the word troublesome. Are we not coming into the time of Jacob's trouble? And in the time of Jacob's trouble, the Lord is going to be casting forth numerous judgments, okay, upon the house of Jacob, man. Specifically, two thirds are of our people, you know. And among those judgments, okay, once again, are is the pestilence, right? We read it in Ezekiel the fourteenth chapter and Jeremiah the fourteenth chapter. Now, also the Lord, He's going to cut off, all right, or put to death, you know, certain Israelites, all right, several Israelites by way of pestilence, man. You know, in other judgments, right? So these pestilence, man, these pestilences, those are all a part of those uh, perilous or troublesome times, man. You know? This is uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So also before the fall of any great kingdom, all right, the Lord would send his prophets out there all right, to prophesy against that kingdom. In today's time, the Lord has his man prophesying against America, which is known in the scriptures as Babylon the Great. And what we're prophesying against this country of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. You see, the Lord is letting a uh, flesh-eating virus all right, run loose on the east coast of the United States, man. You know? Verse 9. It says, the prophet which prophesied peace, excuse me, the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. So if a prophet was to prophesy peace, right, and the word of the prophet came to pass, then ultimately it will be an indicator unto, unto uh, the house of Israel that the Lord has truly sent that man, right, as a prophet of him, as a prophet of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. 
right? Likewise, all right, when there's prophets, when there's men of the Lord that uh, prophesy of these various different pestilences, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, evils that will fall upon the earth. And when those things surely do come to pass, guess what? It's going to be known, all right, that a prophet has been among them, all right, like it stated in the Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, right? So we got Israelites now, all right, when we're, when we're on the brink of the evil days, when we're approaching the evil days, prophesying that we're in a time of prosperity and of peace, man. No, man, all hell's about to break loose, man. They're not, the, these individuals, man, they're not getting Jake ready to the battle, which is why a lot of Israelites are going to be put to death, okay, or... Or uh, uh, um, um, caught in the judgments, all right, in these last days, because also they're not preparing themselves, all right, for the for the evil that Yahweh Bashmi Asha is bringing upon the earth. And and in reality, the only way you can truly be prepared, all right, is is if you're the elect. You see, now now we we uh, uh, uh um, we pray to Yahweh Bashmi Asha. Okay, we fast. All right, we obey the commandments to the best to the best of our ability. Right, but ultimately, hey, the scriptures speak upon Jacob's trouble are right, at a time uh, like never before, man. So, hey, when Jacob's trouble comes, man, it's not gonna be a question. All right, are, are are we in Jacob's trouble? Nah, you gonna know. All right, so the 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 true the true way we can really be prepared is if we're of the Lord's elect, man. That's why we gotta constantly pray to the Lord. All right, to count us worthy to be of His elect number. Uh. Uh, pray to Yahweh Bashmi Asha that He takes not His Holy Spirit from us, so on and so forth, man. Because ultimately, hey, the Lord, the Lord's not playing no games, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord is bringing these, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the Lord is bringing these judgments in place to kill, to spite. You see, and a lot of people are going to get caught up in these things, man. You know, the two thirds of our people, you see, and you know the other nations. All right, hey, these plagues are going to touch them too. Beginning with Esau, excuse me. Be beginning with Esau, right? So uh, that's said in uh, Jeremiah twenty-eight, and I'm gonna probably close out right there. I gotta make it to class. Um, a short lesson, nonetheless. But you know, um, we was able to uh, push out a lesson. So I pray that this lesson was edifying to the body. I pray that you got something out of this. Um, once again, Lord's welcome. Well, put this link to the article in the description box. And without further ado, I'd like to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and preach this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom to the Hopi elect. And Lord's well, I'll see you in the next lesson. Till then, Shalom.